this question comes up consistently, whether it changes, whether it doesn't, and there's a plethora of options. Who is the face of the NBA right What is right the face? Are we, are we just So when we discuss like, face, so, okay, so we discuss yeah. the face of the league. We, we talk about uh, Mr. Box Office, the guy that sells the jerseys, the person who uh, play, uh, people want to aspire to be like, like, remember the like Mike era. We had that. We had the Kobe era. Um, after, after Jordan retired, there was kind of like a plethora. There was really no face. That was that the Tim Duncan, Shaq, Kobe. There was really no one set person. Then LeBron kind of took it. And then Steph kind of took it, right? A little bit. So. In terms of that, that's what I'm talking about. Who is the face of the league right now? Or do we not have one and we just have kind of like what we had in the early 2000s where there's faces, not just one face? Mm. I'm, ha- I'm happy to lead off and then let the basketball gods talk, right? But as a fully invested football fan right now and a part-time basketball fan, shit might sound crazy, but it's still LeBron James, bro. Like, and it's sad. It's sad that LeBron and his... And what I think is a diminished state is still the face of the league. And that means we got to do a better job at making sure the Tatums and the rest of those guys, they got to win, right? Steph, last year I felt like it was Steph. Obviously the championship helped. His injury kind of faded off in the background, right? And they still keep running LeBron, bro. You got the Kareem story. You got the beef back and forth, the the fake hype news that he's out there planting these garbage stories, doing interviews about breaking records on nights that he's not even playing, right? Like on a Friday night, too. Yeah. Hijacking his own team on 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 an ESPN night, right? Like there's a lot of weird stuff happening with LeBron, but the NBA still keep holding that 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 23 up there. So I think it's LeBron today. Coach. Or you want me to shoot to someone else? Someone else wants to take it. Coach is not yeah, ready. Yeah, I'm, I, I want, I'm not ready yet. I'm still back and forth. I'm, I'm, I'm okay, Ray Jarvis right. looks like he's still thinking. So I know I Ray got it. Mike. You got it, Ray? <laughs> no, he don't, he's still thinking. He's, he's pondering. I want to read the room first, you know? I, I, Mike? I, I let <laughs> Mike? <laughs> oh, here we go. Hold That's on. why I went so first. Now no one wants to talk. Oh, oh I'm good. Reading, Yo, I'm reading about it. I got an answer. They okay, started reading the room. I like how Mike. Okay, so Mike. So Mike, Mike, go Mike. I like how Mac started off because really that that statement, we got to define terms. And so you said box office, but I think there are two ways that we've historically, even especially recently, have you face of the league. I look at it as, yes, there is that person that is box off, box office, but there's a lot of guys that's box office, John Morant's box office. So in, in terms of the fans, like, and we can look at, there's a clear metric is the all-star voting. Like that's that's one of the clearest metrics we can have to who the fans think is the face. So that's LeBron. But if you're looking at impact, which I'm I'm applying that as as in the conversation of face of the league, then I believe it's Steph, and I believe it's been Steph for a while now. Because while LeBron has all of the fan votes, everybody plays like Stephen Curry. The numbers bear that out in terms of three point shooting. Uh, I got those numbers. I don't I don't want to read off all the numbers. We all agree here. So nobody's going to dispute that Steph changed the league and changed the game of basketball on every level. So I think if, if we're having a conversation and we can add the nuance of it's not just who gets all the all-star votes, if we add it, if we include that other section, then Steph it revolutionized the game. People still try, people are playing like him now. So I would say impact, he is the MVP. <laughs> I mean, MVP. He is. I'm sorry, Mike. I'm not laughing at you. Raise your office in the comments to Eddie. Oh, my God. I'm trying so hard not to. What? Uh, I'll tell you later, Mike. But uh, you guys have to go with the comments. Uh, Just read the comments. Um, I don't see right. the comments. Oh, but, but Mike, I'll tell you later, man. I, yeah, I, I, tell I'll, me later. I'll tell you later. But right now, Paul said, again, the question for those who are tuning in, who is the face of the league of the NBA right now? Paul said LeBron when Mike went with Steph. So it's between Coach and and I think Ray's tapping coach, in here. You, Ray, Coach, you want to go? Or you want me to go? Uh, you go ahead. You go ahead. All coach, right. So go I got ahead. I got my answer. I got my answer. And it's basically a combo platter of, of of my brothers here. So I think the manufactured commercial face of the league, like you know, all star votes. When you open, when you watch those putrid debate shows. The articles, the clickable item, the receding hairline, the fade to <laughs> all in one, 
the the, the remake of the movie we didn't ask for twice. <laughs> it's LeBron James. He is the manufacturer <laughs> face of the league. Yo. He is the baddie in the club who refuses to leave. Won't let the young baddies in the club shine in a VIP room with the young rappers. She won't move. She will not move unless somebody moves her out the way. But the yeah. actual face of the league, the most electrifying man in the NBA on a night-to-night basis, go to YouTube, go to your socials, you'll find him there. It's light skin number 30. He, the most electrifying man in the playoffs when all the dust is settled, when Golden State's in the finals again, all the conversations are going to surround what number 30 is doing and how number five, if we get that far, where that cements them. So that it's a two prong answer. But the guy to look at, as much as the league wants it to be Zion and Tatum, number 12 in Memphis. Number 12 in Memphis. I told Andres he's, he's, one, of, he's one of them. And Andres had an aneurysm and tried to tell me about Rudy Gobert. We had a whole debate. This is a true story. John Morant is on the way. That's all I got to say. He, he next. I think he next, bro. Well, and with that, and with that, so and with that Nike engine coach. behind him, it's gonna happen. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um. So we have LeBron, Steph, Steph, and Coach. Your vote. I, yeah, I think, I think Ray, Ray put it well. I mean, I, I think it's a combination. I think, and Mike alluded to it too. Like it, they wanted to be LeBron because he drives the conversation, and he's at the twilight end of his career, and all the conversations lead to career awards, and it's a great debate. You know, Jordan, everyday debate still, too. Kareem passing them in points. Now it passes magic and assists. Like, it's just a great conversation. But I don't, I, when I watch college basketball and I see college basketball and I see AAU basketball and I see NBA games, oh, I do oh. not see LeBron James's game being mimicked as much as Steph Curry. Maybe because it's not enough LeBron James, but so what? When, when there wasn't enough Michael Jordans, everybody still wanted to fly and do the up and under and do the leg out. And everybody still wanted to be like Mike, even though we knew we couldn't be like Mike. With LeBron, more people want to be like Curry. More people are sh- right now. The more people shooting from half court, more people are playing that way. So it's a twofold answer. Yeah. But where Jarv says you got to look out for John Morant, even though I agree he's the next most exciting player, the league narrative is pushing Luka Doncic. They are doing everything. They are doing everything. everything. They are doing everything in their power. The next Mm -hmm. move that they do, the next move they do is get another superstar there with him. They they thought they could sneak in KP for a second. That ain't working. You know what I'm saying? They said, well, maybe he could get his his second, he get his second win. That ain't working. Now they're gonna try and sneak another star with Luka Doncic and or, see if he or get him out of there. Get Luka to a bigger market with more I don't think, pockets. With I don't think they're gonna do that, play. Ray. He, that narrative, <laughs> that that storyline, following Dirk, the the Mavericks always having the history of having European that 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 storyline. I think they want that story Nobody to go along with Nobody thought Kawhi would leave Pop. That's I'm true. just saying. But they had see? some beef, though. They had some beef. It was, yeah, a, that little, was different. a little tension. We need some beef. Right. We need something to happen. We need, we we need something, something to cook up. Right, right, right. Yeah, we need Bro, something to cook up. Thing. So he got to be the... disgruntled or something. Well, he I'm be sorry, Carl. Think about it. We When we were younger, going back to that time machine, we didn't think Brawl would leave Cleveland. But once that noise got loud enough about him not true. winning a chip, he made a business decision to get where he could get those rings. And once once these guys start to fade some more, or Braun leaves, and Lucas still second round food or accidental conference finals That's appearance, true. the noise will get loud enough to where he's got to look around and say, I got to do what's best for Luca as far facts, as rings. Facts, facts, facts. That's what I'm saying. We got to look about that move. Facts plus tags. All right, That's, so, so it ain't Jason Tatum call, just to let you know, son. I'll see you again. Tatum. Going yeah, Tatum. Yeah, yeah, I love Tatum. Though. Don't even get in your feelings Tatum. about it. You be all right. I love Tatum. I love Tatum, but it ain't him. They're not doing it. He can't, they can't do it in Boston. And, with, with, it's not going to happen. And to be honest, bro, call. You know how this goes. We had conversations about this for years. He don't have enough personality to be the face. He don't. Yeah, okay. He's, so, he's let me ask, so let me ask this. He to, got the to, game, though. He got the he game. He got the game. 100%. He definitely got the game. He definitely got yeah. the game. Now, LA get him right. Don't worry. 
Y'all so still talk about that? Yo, if that happened. No, I'm not See, but that. no, no, but what Ray, sorry, look, Carl, what look, Ray is look, saying. Ray, he, what, what that's Ray triggering saying, him. You know that. What like. Ray is saying <laughs> is that's what gives you an edge is when you make a move like that and a different story starts to be told about you. And yep. then you have mm -hmm. a different persona. So if you become the bad guy and you go to L.A., it's a whole different storyline than you homegrown Boston. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me, so, so, so Ray Jarvis, so, so this question is for, I'm completely ignoring what they just said, because I'm not going to get into it. You're getting right? emotional. Stop getting no, emotional. No, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> so Ray Jarvis said the next face is to walk out for Ja, and coach said it's Luca. Mike and Paul, I'm going to ask you this to, to wrap it up. Um, yeah. Who's, who's the next, right? So you guys pick who's now. Um, Ray said next is Ja. Uh, Mac is going with Luca. Who are you guys going with as far as next? Next in line. Oh, I, th I think it's Ja, ja without a doubt. Um, they wanted it to be uh, joking for a while, right? But yeah. that ain't going to work. I don't think it's going to be Luca. And I think to Ray's point, you might see a Luca in joking. That would be magic for Dallas, right? Like that would be their history. They would love to do something like that. But it's Ja. When, when, when Nike made the decision to say Kyrie doesn't have a shoe, and then 24 hours later, there was a jaw commercial. That's the engine, bro. Uh -huh. Now the West Coast is involved. Now you got PDX involved. Ja Morant will be having shoes sold in every country now. And that's the storyline, right? That's it's how also you get on leave alert. Because Memphis, you could only do so oh, much in Memphis oh, as a celebrity. Yeah, you can't stay there, bro. You know that. Nike on the phone. You know they would love to get him to Portland. They've been dying to get a star to Portland. Or get him to Brooklyn when the other superstars leave. Why well, gotta be Brooklyn though? Why Knicks. can't be New York? Y'all <laughs> can't yo, be the Knicks. Bro. Bro. Yo, New York. Cloud, Mac. Y'all got a black cloud, uh, brother. Son, we we got a black cloud. We, we, Sorry, Brooklyn, man. Man. we don't got a black cloud no more. We solid cloud. right now. That's Jalen Brunson. Nobody this wants Jalen Brunson. Brunson yeah, though. That ain't no superstar. Come on, Mac. You know better. Melo. He's a superstar. Yeah, we need to get Jalen Brunson. No, 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 he's not. He's no, not. No, he's talking about Morant. Morant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so there's only two destinations. Yeah, yeah. So there's only two destinations for John Morant. So, so, so again, the West chat that the Knicks are one piece away. I think Kenny Smith said it on one of the shows recently that the Knicks. Of course, they got stuff. But to Ray's point, and what most people know, they got the owner. You got a little black cloud, man. I'm just saying, black cloud. But when you get a listen, this is. And y'all tell me if I'm wrong. When you get it, it's working with Julius Randle. He's getting better. It's working with R.J. Barrett. He's getting better. It's working with Brunson. We're developing Grimes. We're developing Mitchell, Robinson. When you get that, you finally can make a real pitch to a star. That's, That's all I'm saying. You can but, make but, a pitch. We, you, and we you, couldn't and even you, make a pitch. We couldn't even make a pitch years ago. And Nobody would even right? listen. And why you're right, Ray, you know this too. Because y'all was in the doldrums for a while with free agency. And eventually, oh. you had some stability, magic. You had oh. some development, and people said, "I, right, they're not a laughing stock anymore." So maybe, but the Knicks, y'all have had a longer run. A of longer, way, stock. way crazy. So, Mike, let me ask you long. in terms it's of the fans. Well, I, I just want to get this in real quick, Carl. To job to to Jobs' point, right? <laughs> we know they're gonna re up that second deal like they do all rookie lottery picks. He didn't need. Mm -hmm. There's only there's only two destinations for John Morant in the future. It's a New York trip. Or it's a Portland trip. I don't think there's any in between. I don't, I don't think, think there's Dallas do or Houston. Oh, he could do Portland. <laughs> I mean, Nike's there, he but do I just Portland, don't think, man. I think markets still matter. I do. Low I think key, keep your eye on Miami for for Josh. Miami's yeah, always yeah, the big deep coach. A nice play. Um, Mike, do you agree with uh, in terms of the next? Who's next in line? It's Ja. I say it's similar to face of the league question. I think it's both. Just like Max said, we talked about it last week. The international movement is here and they're pushing it. So I think they're both going to be fighting for face of the league for the next 10 years. I think both of them. We, Job will be the U.S. face of the league and Luca will be the international one. And as the league trends towards trying to bring more eyeballs around the world, it's going to be a competition, man. But those are the two, in oh. my eyes, those are the two ones.